in the thirty-eighth year of Uzziah, or Azariah, king of Judah, Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam reigned over Israel in Samaria six months. He did evil in the sight of the Lord as his fathers had done, he did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat who had made Israel sin. Then Shalom, the son of Jabesh conspired against him and struck and killed him in front of the people, and he reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Zechariah, indeed they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This was the word of the Lord which he spoke to Jehu saying, Your sons will sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. Therefore Jehu's sons sit on the throne until the fourth generation. Zechariah was the fifteenth king of Israel. Shalom, the son of Jabesh became king in the thirty-ninth year of Uzziah king of Judah, and he reigned a full month in Samaria. For Menahem the son of Gedi went up from Terza, came to Samaria and struck Shalom, the son of Jabesh in Samaria and killed him, and he reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Shalom, and the conspiracy, which he led, indeed they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Then from Terza, Menahem attacked Tipsa, all who were there and its territory. Because they did not surrender, so he attacked it. All the women there who were with child he ripped open. Shalom was the sixteenth king of Israel. In the thirty-ninth year of Uzziah king of Judah, Menahem, the son of Gedi became king over Israel and reigned ten years in Samaria. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, he did not depart all his days from the sons of Jeroboam the son of Nebat who had made Israel sin. Then Pool came against the land. Pool, king of Assyria was an Assyrian king who invaded Israel during the reign of King Menahem. Pool is the same person as Tiglath-Pileser. Tiglath-Pileser was his throne name he bore as king of Assyria, and Pool was his throne name he bore as king of Babylon in Babylonia. Tiglath-Pileser ruled 745 to 727 BC, and under the name Pool, king of Babylon he reigned 729 to 727 BC. Now Menahem gave Pool a thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him to strengthen the kingdom under his control. And Menahem exacted the money from Israel, from all the very wealthy, from each man fifty shekels of silver to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and did not stay there in the land. Now the rest of the acts of Menahem, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Then Menahem rested with his fathers, and Pekaiah his son reigned in his place. Menahem slew the usurper Shalom, and seized the vacant throne of Israel, being the king of Israel. In the fiftieth year of Uzziah king of Judah, two years before the end of his reign, Pekaiah the son of Menahem became king over Israel in Samaria and reigned two years. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, he did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat who had made Israel sin. Then Pekah, the son of Remaliah, an officer of his, conspired against him and killed him in Samaria, in the citadel of the king's house along with Argob and Aria, and with him were fifty men of Gilead. He killed him and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Pekaiah, and all that he did, indeed they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Pekaiah was also the seventeenth king of Israel, for he assumed the throne after his father's death. In the fifty-second year of Uzziah king of Judah, Pekah, the son of Remaliah became king over Israel in Samaria and reigned twenty years. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, he did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. In the days of Pekah king of Israel, tiglath Pileser king of Assyria came and took the people of Ijan, Abel Beth Macha, Janoah, Kadesh, Hazer, Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and he carried them captive to Assyria. This was the first exile of the people of the northern kingdom carried to Assyria. Then Hashia the son of Ila led a conspiracy against Pekah the son of Remalia, and struck and killed him and he reigned in his place in the twentieth year of Jotham the son of Uzziah. Now the rest of the acts of Pekah, and all that he did, indeed they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Pekah was the eighteenth king of Israel. In the year that King Uzziah died, the prophet Isaiah saw the Lord sitting on a throne, 
high and lifted up and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, and each one had six wings, with two, he covered his face, with two, he covered his feet, and with two, he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it, and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. Also Isaiah heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom should I send, and who will go for us? Then Isaiah said, Here am I. Send me. And the Lord said, Go, and tell this people, Keep on hearing, but do not understand, Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of this people dull and their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and return and be healed. Then Isaiah said, Lord how long? And he answered, Until the cities are laid waste and without inhabitant, the houses are without a man, the land is utterly desolate, the Lord has removed men far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land. But a tenth will be in it, and will return and be for consuming as a terebinth tree or as an oak whose stump remains when it is cut down. So the holy seed will be its stump. In the second year of Pekah the son of Remalia, king of Israel, Jotham the son of Uziah, or Azariah king of Judah began to reign. He was twenty-five years old when he became king, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha the daughter of Zadok. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord, he did according to all that his father Uziah had done, although he did not enter the temple of the Lord. The people still acted corruptly, the high places were not removed, the people still sacrificed and burned incense on the high places. Jotham built the upper gate of the house of the Lord, and he built extensively on the wall of Ophel. Moreover, he built cities in the mountains of Judah, and in the forests, he built fortresses and towers. He also fought with the king of the Ammonites and defeated them. And the people of Ammon gave him in that year one hundred talents of silver, ten thousand cores of wheat, and ten thousand of barley. The people of Ammon paid this to him in the second and third years also. Therefore, Jotham became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham, and all his wars and his ways, indeed they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah. In those days, the Lord began to send Rezin, king of Syria and Pekah, the son of Remaliah against Judah. Then Jotham rested with his fathers, and buried with his fathers in the city of David. Then Ahaz his son reigned in his place. In the seventeenth year of Pekah the son of Remaliah, Ahaz the son of Jotham, king of Judah began to reign. Ahaz was twenty years old when he became king, he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem, and he did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord his God, as his father David had done. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, and made molded images for the Baals. Indeed, he burned incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burned his children in the fire, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burned incense on the high places, on the hills, and under every green tree. Now it came to pass in the days of Ahaz the son of Jotham, the son of Uziah, king of Judah, that Rezin king of Syria and Pekah the son of Remaliah, king of Israel went up to Jerusalem to make war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told to the house of David saying, Syria's forces are deployed in Ephraim. So his heart and the heart of his people were moved as the trees of the woods are moved with the wind. Then the Lord said to the prophet Isaiah, Go out now to meet Ahaz, you, and Shear Jashub your son, at the end of the aqueduct from the upper pool on the highway to the fuller's field. And say to him, 
take heed and be quiet, do not fear or be faint-hearted for these two stubs of smoking firebrands, for the fierce anger of Rezin and Syria, and the son of Remalia. Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remalia have plotted evil against you saying, Let us go up against Judah and trouble it, and let us make a gap in its wall for ourselves and set a king over them, the son of Tabel, thus says the Lord God, it will not stand, nor will it come to pass, for the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin. Within sixty-five years, Ephraim will be broken so that it will not be a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. If you will not believe, surely you will not be established. Then Rezin, king of Syria and Pekah, the son of Remaliah king of Israel came up to Jerusalem to make war, and they besieged Ahaz but could not overcome him. At that time Rezin, king of Syria captured Elath for Syria and drove the men of Judah from Elath. Then the Edomites went to Elath and dwelt there. At that same time, King Ahaz sent messengers to Tiglath Pileser king of Assyria to help him saying, I am your servant and your son. Come up and save me from the hand of the king of Syria and from the hand of the king of Israel, who rise up against me. And Ahaz took silver and gold that was found in the house of the Lord, and in the treasuries of the king's house, and sent it as a present to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria heeded him, for the king of Assyria went up against Damascus and took it, carried its people captive to Kir, and killed Rezin, the king of Syria. Now in the time of Ahaz's distress, he became increasingly unfaithful to the Lord. He went to Damascus to meet Tiglath Pileser king of Assyria, and saw an altar that was at Damascus, and King Ahaz sent to Urijah the priest the design of the altar and its pattern, according to all its workmanship. Then Urijah the priest built an altar according to all that King Ahaz had sent from Damascus. So Urijah the priest made it before King Ahaz came back from Damascus. And when the king came back from Damascus, he saw the altar, and then he approached the altar and made offerings on it. For he sacrificed to the gods of Damascus which had defeated him saying, because the gods of the kings of Syria help them, I will sacrifice to them that they may help me. But they were the ruin of him and of all Israel. So he burned his burnt offering and his grain offering, and he poured his drink offering and sprinkled the blood of his peace offerings on the altar. He also brought the bronze altar, which was before the Lord, from the front of the temple, from between the new altar and the house of the Lord and put it on the north side of the new altar. Then King Ahaz commanded Urijah the priest saying, On the great new altar burn the morning burnt offering, the evening grain offering of all the people of the land, their grain offering and their drink offering, and sprinkle on it all the blood of the burnt offering and all the blood of the sacrifice. And the bronze altar will be for me to inquire by. Thus did Urijah the priest according to all that King Ahaz commanded. King Ahaz gathered the articles of the house of God, cut in pieces the articles of the house of God. He cut off the panels of the carts and removed the lavers from them, and he took down the sea from the bronze oxen that were under it and put it on a pavement of stones. Also, he removed the Sabbath pavilion which they had built in the temple, and he removed the king's outer entrance from the house of the Lord, on account of the king of Assyria. He shut up the doors of the house of the Lord and made for himself altars in every corner of Jerusalem. And in every single city of Judah, he made high places to burn incense to other gods, and provoked to anger the Lord God of his fathers. Therefore, the Lord his God delivered him into the hand of the king of Syria. They defeated him, carried away a great multitude of them as captives, and brought them to Damascus. Then he was also delivered into the hand of the king of Israel, who defeated him with a great slaughter. For Pekah the son of Remalia killed 120,000 in Judah in one day, all valiant men, because they had forsaken the Lord God of their fathers. Zikri, a mighty man of Ephraim, killed Masiah the king's son, Azrikam the officer over the house, and Elkanah who was second to the king. And the children of Israel carried away captive of their brethren 200,000 women, sons, and daughters, and they also took away much spoil from them and brought the spoil to Samaria. It was again the Edomites had come, attacked Judah, and carried away captives. 
the Philistines also had invaded the cities of the lowland and of the south of Judah, and had taken Beth Shemesh, Ijalan, Gedroth, and Sakha with its villages and Timnah with its villages and Gimzo with its villages, and they dwelt there. For the Lord brought Judah low because of Ahaz king of Israel, for he had encouraged moral decline in Judah and had been continually unfaithful to the Lord. Also, tiglath Pileser king of Assyria came to him and distressed him, and did not assist him. For Ahaz took part of the treasures from the house of the Lord, from the house of the king, and from the leaders, and he gave it to the king of Assyria, but he did not help him. But a prophet of the Lord was there whose name was Odet, and he went out before the army that came to Samaria, and said to them, Look, because the Lord God of your fathers was angry with Judah, he has delivered them into your hand, but you have killed them in a rage that reaches up to heaven. You propose to force the children of Judah and Jerusalem to be your male and female slaves, but are you not also guilty before the Lord your God? Now hear me, therefore, and return the captives, whom you have taken captive from your brethren, for the fierce wrath of the Lord is upon you. Then some of the heads of the children of Ephraim, Azariah the son of Yohanan, Berechiah the son of Meshalemeth, Jeizkiah the son of Shalom, and Amasa the son of Hadlai stood up against those who came from the war, and said to them, You will not bring the captives here, for we already have offended the Lord. You intend to add to our sins and to our guilt, for our guilt is great, and there is fierce wrath against Israel. So the armed men left the captives and the spoil before the leaders and all the assembly. Then the men who were designated by name rose up and took the captives, and from the spoil they clothed all who were naked among them, dressed them, and gave them sandals, gave them food and drink, and anointed them, and they let all the feeble ones ride on donkeys. So they brought them to their brethren at Jericho, the city of palm trees. Then they returned to Samaria. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaz and all his ways from the first to last, indeed they are written in the book of the chronicles of the king of Judah and Israel. So Ahaz rested with his fathers, and he was buried with his fathers in the city of David, in Jerusalem, but they did not bring him into the tombs of the kings of Israel. Then Hezekiah his son reigned in his place. In the twelfth year of Ahaz king of Judah, Hashiah the son of Elah became king of Israel in Samaria, and he reigned nine years. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the kings of Israel who were before him. Shulmanezer, king of Assyria came up against him and Hashia became his vassal and paid him tribute money. And the king of Assyria uncovered a conspiracy by Hashia, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt and brought no tribute to the king of Assyria as he had done year by year. Therefore, the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Hashia was the nineteenth and last king of Israel. The book of Isaiah in its entirety is the twenty-third book of the Old Testament. The prophet Hosea was the son of Beer. He prophesied during the eighth century and lived through the reign of the king Zutzia, king of Judah, Jeroboam II, king of Israel, Jotham, king of Judah, Ahaz king of Judah and his ministry, Idolatry was widespread in the northern kingdom of Israel. And in the king's day, the word of the Lord came to Hosea the son of Beer, concerning them. When the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord had him take a wife and children of harlotry, for the land has committed great harlotry by departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer the daughter of Deblame, and she conceived and bore him a son. Then the Lord said to him, Call his name Jezreel, for in a little while I will avenge the bloodshed of Jezreel on the house of Jehu, and bring an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. In 841 B.C. When Jehu slaughtered the sons of Ahab, the prophets, and priests of Baal, he on the approval of the Lord destroyed the evil dynasty of Omri. Gomer conceived again and bore a daughter. Then God said to him, Call her name Loruhamah, for I will no longer have mercy on the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. Yet I will have mercy on the house of Judah, will save them by the Lord their God. And will not save them by bow, nor by sword or battle, by horses, or horsemen. When she had weaned Loruhamah, she conceived and bore a son. Then God said, Call his name Loamai, for you are not my people, and I will not be your God. 
Israel did not know that I gave her grain, new wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold which they prepared for Baal. Then the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. For the children of Israel will abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward, the children of Israel will return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They will fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land, there is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying, killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break all restraint, with bloodshed upon bloodshed. Therefore, the land will mourn, and everyone who dwells there will waste away with the beasts of the field and the birds of the air, even the fish of the sea will be taken away. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priest for me, because you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Harlotry, wine, and new wine enslave the heart. My people ask counsel from their wooden idols, and their staff informs them, for the spirit of harlotry has caused them to stray, and they have played the harlot against their God. They offer sacrifices on the mountain tops, and burn incense on the hills, under oaks, poplars, and terebinths, because their shade is good. Therefore, your daughters commit harlotry, and your brides commit adultery. Hear this, O priest. Take heed, O house of Israel. Give ear, O house of the king. Four years is the judgment because you have been a snare to Mizpah of Gilead and a net spread on Mount Tabor. The revolters are deeply involved in slaughter, though I rebuke them all. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me, for now, O Ephraim, you commit harlotry, Israel is defiled. They do not direct their deeds toward turning to their God, for the spirit of harlotry is in their midst, and they do not know the Lord. Set the trumpet to your mouth. He will come like an eagle against the house of the Lord because they have transgressed my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel will cry to me, My God, we know you. Israel has rejected the good, the enemy will pursue him. They set up kings, but not by me. They made princes, but I did not acknowledge them. From their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves that they might be cut off. Your calf is rejected, O Samaria. My anger is aroused against them. How long until they attain to innocence? Come, and let us return to the Lord, for he has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. O Ephraim, what should I do to you? O Judah, what should I do to you? For your faithfulness is like a morning cloud, and like the early dew it goes away. Therefore, I have hewn them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and your judgments are like light that goes forth, for I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Do not rejoice O Israel, with joy like other peoples, for you have played the harlot against your God. You have made love for hire on every threshing floor. The threshing floor and the wine press will not feed them, and the new wine will fail in her. They will not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim will return to Egypt, and will eat unclean things in Assyria. The days of punishment have come, the days of recompense have come. Israel knows. The prophet is a fool, the spiritual man is insane because of the greatness of your iniquity and great enmity. When Ephraim spoke trembling, he exalted himself in Israel, but when he offended through Baal worship, he died. Now they sin more and more, and have made for themselves molded images, idols of their silver, according to their skill. All of it is the work of craftsmen. They say of them, let the men who sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore, 
they will be like the morning cloud and like the early dew that passes away, like chaff blown off from a threshing floor and like smoke from a chimney. Yet I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt, and you shall know no God but me, for there is no Savior besides me. I knew you in the wilderness, in the land of great drought. When they had pasture, they were filled. They were filled and their heart was exalted, then they forgot me Israel empties his vine, he brings forth fruit for himself. According to the multitude of his fruit, he has increased the altars, according to the bounty of his land, they have embellished his sacred pillars. Their heart is divided, now they are held guilty. He will break down their altars, he will ruin their sacred pillars. Now they say we have no king because we did not fear the Lord. And as for a king, what would he do for us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely in making a covenant. So judgment springs up like hemlock in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria fear because its people mourn for it and its priests shriek for it, because its glory had departed from it. The idol also will be carried to Assyria. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. As they called them, so they went from them. They sacrificed to the Baals and burned incense to carved images. I taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I drew them with gentle cords, with bands of love, and I was to them as those who take the yoke from their neck. I stooped and fed them. Israel will not return to the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian will be his king because they refuse to repent. My people are bent on backsliding from me. Though they call to the Most High, none at all exalts him, for I am God, and not man, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come with terror. They will walk after the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he roars, then his sons will come trembling from the west. They will come trembling like a bird from Egypt, like a dove from the land of Assyria. And I will let them dwell in their houses says the Lord. The book of Hosea in its entirety is the 28th book in the Old Testament. If this video was a blessing to you, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.